Hi guys, welcome back to Brown's Boutiques. I'm Megan and today's video is going to be one um, that I'm kind of, I was intrigued by the idea of a single crochet foundation chain and I saw a couple videos, um, one in particular was by, I believe it's Julie with Gleeful Things. I will be uh, linking the video down below um, so I can give credit where credit is due. This is the one I saw and that really got me into it um, to try it. And so I'm using these yarns here, these colorings of skeins. They're very small. They were my mom's. Um, she used them for projects um, or it was from my aunt. I can't really remember. Someone gifted me these. <laughs> Um, just leftover uh, skeins that weren't being used. This one is very pretty. It's variegated. It's got the different shades of blue. It has white. And then it has like a softer light blue, if you can see. And then it kind of goes into the darker. And this is the very darkest right here. It's like a navy blue. No, sorry. Royal blue? Navy blue? Royal blue, I think. It's been a day. <laughs> How many else is... How many else's of yours brains are gone from being in quarantine and stuck at home? And then this is just a really pretty blue and it does match the blue in here. So I'm going to use both of these. I'm just going to be making like uh, maybe a scarf for my son in this coloring. Since there's two of them and there's not much of each of them, uh, you can alternate the colors on the rows and make a scarf from that. So that's what I'm going to do with it. Um, but I'm going to be starting out with the blue because I like having, and when I'm doing a multicolored like this and one is variegated, I like using the solid color first and then using the variegated next and then so on and so forth. Up the blanket, scarf, whatever I'm making is usually how I like to do it. And then just because I like having a solid color on the outside. So I'll start and end with solid colors on whatever project I'm making. And I'm also using a blue crochet hook. <laughs> and this one is the size K. It's a 6.5. See if they'll focus on it. Yeah, 6.5 millimeter hook. So I'm going to use this one. Again, we're going to start with the blue. And so I do have a couple lights on. I hope you guys can still see what I'm doing. I'm going to zoom in a bit. And see if this will help see what I'm doing with the yarn. So I'm going to create a slip knot. I'm going to insert my hook. And this is the first time I'm trying this. I just watched the video again just to get a good idea for it. So literally trying this. Haven't tried it at all. Sometimes I try stitches before. Have not tried it. I hope it goes well if I'm remembering it correctly. So you chain two two chains on your hook and then you insert your hook into that first chain right there and you go also the one in the back there's if you turn your work over there are these little bumps they'll focus there's a bump there and a bump there on the back of your work because see on the front you get kind of like a braided look and on the back there are loops and some people do use the back loops for certain stitches certain projects I haven't used them for anything for any project yet but this foundation chain uh, doing the stitch for it is supposed to help it so um, your work will be more even on the foundation chain because sometimes when you do a foundation chain and you don't do enough stitches like if you don't insert far enough away from the hook and it can get really tight or if you're just a tight crocheter it can get tight and so your work will have a curve on the side instead of a nice flat 90 degree angle so this is supposed to help kind of do that as well as just making it so you don't have to chain as many um so we're going to see how it goes and so i'm going to insert my hook in the top loop and that back one okay so it's inserted you're going to yarn over, pull through. So you have two loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through that first one. Now you have two loops again on your hook. Yarn over, pull through those two. And so you have that. It looks kind of weird, 
but we're gonna try it again okay so we're going to insert a hook underneath that last stitch we just did so basically going in again yarn over pull through two loops yarn over pull through one yarn over pull through two so it kind of looks like you're doing it upside down but there are the stitches there's the top the V's like you would normally get so we're gonna try again and you just go into the last stitch you did you go into the bottom of it yarn over pull through yarn over pull through one yarn over pull through two and so you just keep going across until you have it the width that you want Let's see if I can real focus there you go now you can see it so yep you just keep going along it kind of looks like you're doing it to me it feels like I'm doing it left-handed because it's going this way getting longer instead of going this way and to the right and getting longer and it looks like it feels like you're doing it backwards but you just go underneath the last stitch you did did I go underneath nope aha I did not you go underneath yarn over pull through yarn over pull through one Yarn over, pull through those two. So, I'm, I'm hoping this is right. It just, it looks weird. Hmm. Let me try again. Let's start over. Okay. So we're starting out back to my slip knot. All the way back to the slip knot. Like I said, I'm trying it for the first time, so I'm seeing how we can do this. Okay, so I'm at my slip knot. Boom, right there. Okay, haven't chained anything yet. So I'm gonna chain two. One, two. I'm going to insert your hook. You see the V right there? I'm gonna do the top of the V and the back. Little loop. Okay. So we're gonna yarn over, pull through. So we have two loops on our hook. Yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, so there's that. We're gonna try again. All right, now the last stitch. Yarn over, going to insert, insert, under. don't think I'm doing it right because it's not looking this is really hanging down here like this is my slip knot so I'm gonna redo the slip knot okay insert the hook chain two one two I'm gonna try something different here I'm going to insert my hook like I did before, and over, pull through, pull through one, pull through two. Okay, I'm going to try it again. All right, going to yarn over, no. Insert my hook, yarn over, pull through, pull through, pull through again. Now see, that doesn't look right either. Alright, I have the video queued up on my phone here. I'm going to watch it again real quick. Just to see, because I just could have sworn I was doing it the right way. So I'm going to watch, I'm going to watch it. I'm not, I'm going to, I have the audio on for copyright, all that fun stuff. But I'm going to try and do this again and see if I can do it real quick. Like I said, I'm watching it for the first time. I'm trying it for the first time, so I haven't even tried this before to see. All right, okay, so she has a slip knot. Chain two. Okay. So we have that. Insert the hook. Okay. Insert it into the back 
it over, pull through, pull through, pull through. Okay, so I have that. I'm just going to keep on going and seeing. I'm just going to do a few of the way I was telling you. Maybe it just wasn't enough for it to start looking the same. So we're just going to keep going into the last stitch I did. She's also using a lighter colored yarn, so I wonder if that makes any kind of difference. But we're just going to keep going. Seeing if that makes a difference at all. Okay, so I want a couple more. It's coming up with the V's, but she doesn't have to see. <sighs> Alright, well this this is a fail for me. I'm gonna have to do some more practice on it. This is all I'm coming up with. And it should not look like that. It should be nice and more boxy across the way. So I'm this is a fail. <laughs> Um, but hey, fails happen. We're learning. So I'm going to keep trying, watch a few more videos, see if I'm just missing the stitch underneath to be doing it in. So I hope you guys still liked watching the video um, with me trying something different. Um, it was a fail and fail videos happen sometimes. And so it's a good lesson to be more prepared, watch a few more videos, get some more knowledge on it and some more practice on it. So hopefully the next time I come to you guys trying this, I will have it good. <laughs> and then I can show you guys. Um, but I hope you still like the video. Um, sorry it's been a while since I've posted. Uh, work's been super busy. I got a promotion and that's come with a lot of res new responsibilities and new work to do. Um, so hopefully I'll be posting a lot more in, in the coming days. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you do, please give it a like and a thumbs up. And then if you have any tips on this, if you've tried this foundation chain stitch and you got it to work and you have any advice, definitely leave it below in a comment for me. I'm always, you know, willing to hear and see if anyone has any ideas or tips or tricks for me. Or if you know a better, like a video that may just show it in better detail, um, that would also be great to find out too. Thanks again for watching guys. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Happy crocheting. Bye.